Well, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to fit a Pacific Action sail to a sit on top kayak here. We're going to use the Ocean Kayak Prowler 4.3. You'll find that most kayaks come with all fixings already attached on the kayak, which you can use, so you don't have to put any holes on your kayak at all. First of all, once you get your Pacific Action sail, get everything out, lay it on the ground, so you know what parts are what. Lay your sail over here, you're going to have to find some fixing points to put your straps over here on. On the prowler here we've got a couple of screws anchor points here we can already use so we just have to take those screws out and put that in there so it'll sit right like that and then we can attach it here. Alternatively if you don't have um, fixing points already you can use one of these pop rivets to fasten it into your kayak. The proper pop rivets are spread open so it's not going to go anywhere. Same thing on the front here, we're just going to utilise the handle here, we've used a bit of the running cord and tied a, tied a loop knot, so we're going to use that for our shock cord, which will go like that, and these bits go up to the sail. So I'll just take these screws out here, and put these... The other one on the other side, So now we're ready to attach the sail to the webbing triangles in your front loop there with your with your clip. It's important that this clip here, this your front clip is 25 centimeters or further apart from where your, where your webbing triangles are. Just clip that one on there. Put your strap through the. Webbing triangle, bring it up there, Just tighten that one up a little bit and we'll go around the other side and do the same to that. Important to make this nice and tight, as tight as you can. I'll stand that up. That's nice and tight. The next thing we want to do is fasten these. These little screws, you can see these little holes here. We've got to get this set right so that it stays nice and rigid and firm out. You want these things hard down on your kayak and these spread out as far as you can. So you spread them out. Holding the seat down. Like that. Drill a pilot hole. Do the same on this side.
And make sure you do the back holes as well. Next thing I want to do is attach the shock cord with the shackle to the mast. The mast has already got a hole in it so it's easy to find. So I'm going to do that. Put it in there. Line up the holes and put it through. Tighten it up. Then you put the shackle on the other side. So once you've got that shackle on the other side here, it's time to set your bungee up. Now you want to set it up so that it's tight enough, tight enough to spring up, but not too tight, because you want to be able to, you want to be able to pull it down as well when you're not using it. You just adjust it till you're happy with it. That's going to sort of, if you let that go, it's going to spring up. And you can pull it back all right. You want, you can tie a knot in there first, just to make sure it's going to be all right. Once you're happy with the setting, you can use the cable tie then. You simply run it down like that, put your tape cable tie on. Make it nice and tight. That's not going to go anywhere. Well, the easiest way to put the sail on the Prowler 4.3, because it's already got these, these little fixings here. You can just cut your running line, line in half, run straight up through here, and then you've got your, your running cleat, poke it up through there. So that's your adjustment. So, you do that on that side, same on the other side. So you got your running cleat and then you can adjust your sail wherever you want. Alternatively you can use these. Fasten that to your kayak. That comes, same thing comes through there. So that's the easy way to do it on the on the prowler. Straight through your oil it there, oil it there, free your running cleat. And then tie your tie your clip on the end. I'm not tripping. And then you just clip it off wherever you want. Just so that when you flip it up, if this isn't caught, it can only go so far. It's not gonna go over in the water. That's the method I use. I prefer to use the attach cleat system which is easy to install. Just simply drill two holes and put two pop rivets in each side. To find out where to buy all these kayaking accessories including the specific action sale on these cleats, go to the BLA website 
find the nearest retailer or buy online direct through them. Once it's installed, you're ready for hours and hours of fun.